Hi, this is Grandma. I'm back with you. Been away for a little while. I'm standing here with um, Esprit, means um, free spirit. She's a priest, and uh, I have her own shadow priest with the dual specs. You know, you can choose uh, um, two of the specs how you want to. I've got her as a healer, also as a shadow priest. When I fight, I go with Shadow Priest, good fighter, but then I want to heal, like uh, when I go in dungeons, so uh, to be a healer, I can uh, dual spec the healer. The thing about a priest is they're cloth wearers, but you don't have to change their specs. Um, they can um, have the same ones. For instance, she's uh, the clothes used to, you had to uh, have two sets of clothes to some, some of them you do. But with the priest, you don't. You can go shadow. You have the same uh, spec. You're still uh, emphasizing on intellect. And um, anyway, I'm standing here at Shrine of Seven Stars. This is a central location for all of Pandaria. You can get anywhere around Pandaria. Now, I think the guys that uh, program this game and make it happen are sheer genius. But a couple of things I don't like very much because I'm looking over this destruction here. Uh, it used to be so beautiful. Uh, you would, uh, if you've seen it before, you know what I'm talking about. And after a hard day out fighting all the beasts out there, you come here and it was so soothing to see the beautiful scenery and and gave you a sense of comfort. But to look at it now, I hate it. And when I first came back on, I thought, well, surely this is temporary. Uh, we'll just have to fight a big battle and, and get it back restored the way it was. But evidently, that's not the way it is. And if I have, if I could talk to them, I'd say, do something, please do something. I don't like it. I don't. I don't think a lot of people like it. But anyway, I make this my home. And the reason I do is because it. Um, uh, like I said, it's a central location, and, um, well, we were so slow tonight. Not only that, if you go in, uh, go up these stairs, if you go to the right, there's, uh, there's going to be your banker where you keep all your bags and also your guild um, board where you can uh, look at all the things in the, your guild bank. You go to the left, you're gonna go to all the portals that you really wanna go to all the different uh, uh, places. For instance, there's uh, Darnassus, uh, Ironforge, Stormwind, Exodor, and Delaria. And uh, one more, which is Shathrak. That's where we're going today because I want to go show you another th change they're fixing to make. But uh, this is like the city of the drain eyes. And I want to take you to uh, Shadow Moon. And the reason I'm going, I want to show you Shadow Moon Valley because. The next time you look at it on the next patch, it will be totally different. Um, Shadow Moon is um, is it's moonlight all the time. It's not no daylight. Never has been, and never will be probably. Everywhere you go in Shadow Moon, you can't even make a step or you're you're running to a beast that I mean it's like wall to wall inch by inch beast everywhere you're just constantly fighting them 
And uh, like I said, it's night over over here all the time. And I just want to take, want you to take a look at it. Of course, the players probably already see it, but I just want you to know that this will be the last time you'll ever see it like this. And it's really an eyesore sight. All these beasts everywhere. And there's a lot of quests here. Well, actually, I never did like to come over and play because, however, I have been here and tried to get uh, rep, rep with them. The next time you see it on the next patch, this will look like a, a dream compared to what it looks like now. Like I said, take come over, visit, take a last look at it because next patch this is going to be like dreamland in comparison. It's going to be nice uh, lanes and beautiful scenery and you don't see all these bad guys, these beasts running around. Um, and it'll, it'll just be uh, so totally different when I saw it on the uh, video they showed about the things changes they made it was uh, uh, I was really shocked to be the last place I thought but the places like uh, I was showing you earlier I, I wish that they would do something about maybe we could have a big battle and fight for it to go back the way it was or but if I could talk with them I'd say please I don't, uh, not that area anyway, you know, outside, on, uh, outside of town or somewhere, but not there. But anyway, there you see it, hopefully for the last time, because next time you come through there, on the next patch, it will be beautiful. Negron is beautiful, I hope they don't destroy that. Because, you know, even though I guess they're making it look to show us what the bad guys can do, but we can do that outside the, the, air, the city or the area, the town part, or whatever. But, so, how's everybody been doing? Oh, well, the month of September was a pretty big month. For me, I had uh, two great-grandchildren born. Uh, one girl, one boy. The girl is a uh, Lily, and uh, she looks just like her dad. I haven't seen uh, grand great grandson yet, but I'm sure most boys look like their mom. And uh, this is Ellerin, a stronghold. It's a nice little town. This is where I, I used to always uh, make my home when I was working the area because it was so nice here. I used to, I used to make a living off of killing these spiders and taking the spider silk and selling them in the, uh, in the auction house. That's how I started making my, I say my first millions. But, um, cause I'm a, a tailor and uh, I had to use it. And I thought, well, if I have to use those spider silk so much that I'm sure that there's going to be uh, other tailors out there that need it and sure enough uh, I couldn't put I couldn't get them in there fast enough uh, to um, they, they would sell really good so anyway uh, I'm going to uh, oh you like my glasses oh well I I picked those up as a loot I uh, know. I just put them on so I could look cute today. You know, if you're an engineer, you can make glasses like this. Uh, a chopper. And that cost me like uh, the chopper. I think was like sixteen thousand buying and and uh, um, I had to buy three sets of masks. And then, of course, I uh, farmed uh, three sets to make this. 
but sometimes they sell them in the auction house for 20, 25,000. But if you're an engineer, you can make things like this. And so what I do is so um, I on two of my uh, um, characters, I will have an engineer on um, miner because you know he has to mine a lot of stuff to for things he uses in engineering and um, then I have a, uh, she's a tailor and um, she gathers uh, herbs um, to send to my alchemist so you know if you've got several characters and you can um, support each other with and, you, and it costs a lot it, even in the auction house even if you have to buy them, it sometimes costs a lot for you to uh, level your uh, professions up. But, um, so, it's good if you can uh, have two professions each on each of your players and each one support uh, um, the other one. So, I guess uh, I'm going to go and do something else. And I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes.